Hmm. Doing your escape plan. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna turn the music off so I don't get a copyright strike from YouTube. Now they use uh, a lot of chromaticism. Very rarely triads like Nothing like that typical traditional music theory. So when I lost my bet, it's a song I've been uh, analyzing in depth. And then just start with all the open strings, according to the live shows. That's my tip, really. Watch the live shows, put it on half speed so you can really see what they're doing because the guitarist always stands on the front of the stage so you can see what kind of fingering he is doing there's a lot of tight intervals and a lot of tritones and I th think they're playing this opening and then they play this and then instead of going to the B flat they just go Then the verse comes. Then it go to B flat. And then the guitar is marking uh, the same thing as the snare drum does. And it's a very athletic style. It takes a lot of practice to do all of this uh, alternate picking. I can't do it, but others can each according to their own <clears throat> ability, level, current level. So B flat, same thing. And then I don't, I think it's a B flat and F. to get this rhythm right without the guidance of a drummer and then the chorus I think it's the chorus that's uh, tritones again very very much triton driven but the triton doesn't get resolved like this i don't think they ever do that they just use the triton it's kind of filling a two-part counterpoint if that makes sense so they don't resolve it, they just use it as a filler instead of playing the typical. Then it becomes traditional heavy metal. Things like that. Doing this, it become 
becomes uh, a whole lot darker. And you don't have to play it like this. You could also play like this if you want to stretch. Because then you can fit in notes on the string between this. That's a good riff. That's really dark because it's the uh, flat uh, ninth or flat two functions. One, flat two, and a flat five tritone. So that's how you take this style. Uh, further, you just add one note because it's not triad based, right? It's not the typical typical triad, but it's three part. It's sort of the inverted version of the typical triad structures yeah and then you could even put the flat 2 on top that's a different voicing I think this one's I think this one's better now you get a get a power chord on top and then go down Tritone. Yeah, another part of this uh, tune. When they, uh, I don't know which uh, which part you would. It's just you, your fortune. That's my notes. <clears throat> and that's B, A. starts at the beginning with the uh, all six strings so that's my um, first analysis of it the rhythm is uh, a chapter of it all of its own so I think I would have to find a drummer to figure out this because the that's the that's the bass rhythm. So it'd be. Is it really disorienting, right? With uh, what is doing in the snare drum? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. right they're so close to each other that uh, when I played them for an extended period of time um, they kind of become the same pulse because my ears just want it wanted to be the same it's really hard to keep the this one 
and then do the snare pattern. about it. I don't have any more to say currently. <laughs> 